Okay, now I want to find the angle given that the sides are 3 over 2. Uh, remember, this is an arc cosecant, which means I need to deal with the, by the angle. The problem is there's no cosecant button or second cosecant button on the calculator. Hmm, so how can I do that? Well, I have a couple of choices. First thing I'm going to do is this. What is the reciprocal of cosecant? It is the sine button. So what I'm going to do is this. First of all, I need to check my calculator. Oh, I got lucky. It is in what? Degrees. If I want my answer to radians, I would arrow down and hit radians. Let's see how I'm going to leave it. i leave it in degrees right here. Second mode. What I'm going to do is this. What's the reciprocal of cosecant? It is sine. So I'm going to hit second sine. But I'm not going to put in 3 over 2. I'm going to put in, guess what? 2 divided by 3, close the parentheses, and hit enter. Because I'm going to flip it here as I flipped it there, and that tells me the answer is 41.8 degrees. Another way you could do this would be to do the following. We'd we'll simply go to do 3 divided by 2, enter, and then you would have to hit the x negative 1 button, enter. And it gives you this. And now what I would have to do is go to second sign and put in this 0 0.6666666667, close the parentheses, and notice I have 41.8, and I got 41.80, let's see how close, uh, look at that, I exactly, exactly the same, as we round, let's take a round off too much on that. But you, in order to find cosecant, you have to use the arc sign. But before you can do it, you must use the reciprocal of this. Whether you flip the 3 over 2 to 2 thirds or whether you do it in the calculator and flip it. But it has to be flipped before you can do arc cosecant. Okay? There is no arc cosecant, so you really got to do arc sign. But you have to reciprocate the numbers to do that.